Hi, Gemini. Welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see the current slash past person. So this is someone that you have had a past incident with. This is someone that there's some history there. Let's see what happened in the past between Gemini and this person. My cats are acting up behind me. Timestamps in the comment section. Let's see. Only take what resonates, leave what does not for someone else. What happened in the past between Gemini and this person? Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Fives talk about, did someone switch up on you, Gemini? Abandon you, Five of Pentacles? Or vice versa? Tell me more. Four of Pentacles. And we have the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Okay, something feels like unnecessary drama, okay, is what I'm getting conflict did someone lead you on knight of wands you felt led on by this person or you feel led on by this person there could have been other people involved the five of wands is an energy of competition jealousy five of pentacles this person leaving you out in the cold ignoring you how do they see Gemini? How do they see you right now? How do they see Gemini? Thank you guys for liking the video. Strength card? They see you as held back. This person may see you as someone who has a lot of courage. For some of you is what I'm getting. Tell me more. Like, you have strength in your character. I feel like they see you as someone who's not easily influenced by others or by them. That tells me this person was playing games with you. Somebody was playing mind games with you and you weren't giving in to what they were trying to pull you into. Ace of Pentacles, they want a new beginning with you. I don't know why this person would see you as manifesting a new beginning for yourself. Okay. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, you're dedicated... So if you guys, this person is aware of some goals you're trying to accomplish, okay? How do they feel? How do they feel about you? How does this person truly feel about Gemini? They feel like this is not over. They feel ignored by you, but they're ignoring you. So what do they expect you to do, Gemini? This person really, I feel like they're creating unnecessary drama. Okay, I, I'm getting like, just for the, the thrill of it. Three of Pentacles. You may work with this person with the Three of Pentacles or... It's like you guys roam in the same social setting. Or you did in the past. Knew the same people, same environments. Or you just worked with this person. Queen of Swords. They feel like you're cutting them off. Some of you guys, this person thinks you're holding a grudge. They feel like you're mad at them. Well, are you? How does Gemini feel? Four of Wands.
you're disappointed that things are not coming together. I feel like you just, you're in an energy of being let down. Okay, this is very strange. So give me a second, Gemini. It's like somebody here led you on. And for what? To let you down? I think you felt a connection. The Four of Wands is feeling a connection, but you also feel disappointed that you felt the connection. Like it's almost like you're disappointed in yourself and in this person. They think you're holding a grudge or they think you're mad at them. Uh, Four of Cups, but they feel like this is unfinished. They haven't given up on the situation. They're just holding back right now. What are their next actions toward Gemini? next actions toward you, Gemini. Reaching out, page of pentacles, a small offer, peace offering, ace of cups. They want to make it up to you. They want to make it up to you. They want to offer you. Okay. One more, please. moon you know what this is okay so this person wants to chalk it up as a misunderstanding however however let's be real you see the situation for what it is because they feel this queen of swords energy they feel like you see through them gemini they feel like you can see right through them but the same time they want you to believe that it's just all oh, one big misunderstanding. And so here they come in with the big reveal, Gemini. They want to make peace with you. So I do feel like this person is coming in just as strong in the future as they were. They're going to come on strong. They came on strong in the past and then they pulled back. And now they're going to come on strong again. Okay. Okay. This is some hot and cold. Look at this five of wands, five of pentacles. Hot and cold. Hot and cold. So. What do they want to say to Gemini? their intentions what are their intentions with this moon card what are their intentions six of cups they want to get close to you for what nine of swords this person as long as you're thinking about them they're feeling pretty good about themselves Somebody wants you to let them in again or let you in in general. This person just wants you to be crazy about them. That's their intention. Their intention is to get you to obsess or think about them nonstop. That's what they would like to happen here, Gemini. You know, they do tell themselves they're good intended. Oh, what is Who are you dealing with? Well, this person will enter, re-enter the situation telling themselves that they have good intention, but their intention is to get you to overthink. They want, they want to be in your head, Gemini. What's their hidden truth toward Gemini, please? What is their hidden truth toward Gemini? It says, I still have feelings for you. I wish we could go back. So there was a point in this connection that was at a high and they want to go back to that point. They want to go back to that high point.
you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Somebody feels like they were forced to drop this. Five of Wands, possibly because there was other people in the mix. I want to feel that way again. You per Okay, so that's what they want. This person, you make this person feel good about themselves on some level. And so they want to come back in and act all, act how they did in the past, come on strong like they did in the past to keep you thinking about them. Because as long as you're thinking about them, they feel good about themselves. It says, I don't know how to feel. I know I messed everything up. So they're just confused emotionally at the moment, Gemini. They are confused emotionally. There are a few incidents or some things that happened between you two that they wish they could take back, that they wish they could go back. Okay. All right. We're going to take a look at the singles. You guys could be dealing with a Pisces, a Leo. Could be any sign, though. Could be another air sign for some of you with that queen of swords or this is your energy waters here as far as elements it could be any sign okay let's take a look at the singles singles and new person please Only take what resonates, leave what does not for someone else. Single Geminis, single Geminis. What are we dealing with here, single Gemini? Mirror, you're mirroring each other. Relationships reflect our wounds. Okay, so there's somebody new that you and this person are attracted to each other. Now, let's remember that not all attractions lead to the end-all be-all. Sometimes attractions are to help heal us, right? Or, you know, sometimes the universe will send people in our path so we can reflect on where we still need to heal. Is the first message out for you singles? me more well hello cash is jasper bullying you is jasper bullying you baby you gotta stand up for yourself cash single gemini heartbroken Feels like there's a situation coming toward you, Gemini, if it hasn't already, that may be making it, it, its whole point is to make you feel some type of way. So you can reflect on. It's almost like there's something you still need to heal is what I'm getting singles. And so there's someone that has come towards you or that is coming toward you to show you a part of yourself that still needs to heal. If you're wondering about the situation that's got you feeling some type of way, that's what it is. It's like the universe will show you parts of yourself that you still don't love yet. The runner. Fear of intimacy, listening to ego. It 
Some of you single Geminis, it feels like people will come in and show you a ton of interest to turn their back on you. That could be how it feels, right? And it's like the reason why this is happening is because the universe is wanting you to heal some aspect of yourself, okay? Um, who's coming towards single Gemini? I feel like that was just repeating itself, so... Who's coming toward single Gemini, please? Hi, honey. Are you okay? What you doing, baby? What you doing, honey? You looking out for Jasper? Jasper's been t chasing Cash around lately. And Cash does not defend himself. <laughs> Who's coming toward the single Gemini. Who's coming toward the single Gemini? You got two options coming towards you, Gemini. Justice card at the bottom of the deck. One of those options could be a Libra. The other could be a fire sign. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But it's going to feel like, like justice is served. Is somewhat Gemini. Somebody that turned their back on you is coming toward you. That's one of the options. Someone who left you out in the cold. Let's see. Who's coming toward single Gemini? We got Cancer Energy. You may be feeling stuck right now, Gemini, but there's something to come in to liberate you. To set you free. Single Gemini, single Gemini. Strength card, Leo energy. I feel like you singles, something's coming in to liberate you, okay? Something you've been stuck on. And I feel like one of these options is someone that turned their back on you. And you, some of you guys may feel a little out of whack because of that energy. But then it comes in and it, it kind of liberates you. Did you break free from it? Yeah, there's a reunion. <sighs> Knight of Swords are rushing towards you. That's going to lead to more conflict if you entertain it. Just saying. You're going to have an option here. You're going to have a choice. Two of Wands. You are going to have a choice. If you entertain the person that ran away from you, they're coming towards you. If you entertain it, it's going to create more conflict for you. Because it's telling me whoever ran away is running right back in. Why? 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 Let's see. Why are they doing this? I do see another option coming in. I'll, I'll pull a card for that other option. Why is this person running back toward Gemini? What, what is the point of that? Why are they running back toward Gemini? The Empress? They want you? I mean... Oh, they want you. Knight of Wands. Empress energy, you could have had a glow up or something for some of you guys, but just generally speaking, they have feelings for you. That's why they're running back toward, they just want a new beginning in love. Four of swords, they've had some time to think about it. Five of pentacles, if they were dealing with someone else, uh, I feel like the other person shutting them out. Will of fortune, don't be somebody's second option. I hate saying it like that. If it doesn't resonate, great. You got someone coming in that may have chose somebody else over you, Gemini, or it feels that way. Some of you flat out know about it with the two of wands. Here's the thing. That other option doesn't seem to be panning out too well. Okay. And so it's like they want to repeat with you. So what? Let's like they want to repeat with you until there's something else that comes along again. I don't like that. I don't like that.
Page of Wands. Yep, here they come to flirt. Bat an eyelash at you. Some of you guys, a text message coming in. Hey, stranger, how you been? How you been, stranger? It's been a long time. So you just got someone here. They've always been sexually attracted to you, Gemini. But I feel like there may have been something in their life already or there's someone else in their life. But they were still entertaining you. This person does not seem loyal to me. The second somebody shows you disloyalty, you need to believe what you see, Gemini, and walk away. Now, the whole point of this going down is to reflect back to you where you still need healing. So this has nothing to do with your worth. This person clearly sees your worth. Okay, the Empress. But the universe will bring in broken people. People who don't know what they want. People who are confused. We come in contact with each other because it's supposed to reflect, to mirror back to us where we still need to heal. That's the whole point of this going down. So it looks like a repeated cycle to me. Let's pull a card for the other. There's. It looks like there is one other option here, Gemini. What about the other option? Nine of, they're a headache too. Queen of Cups. Here's the thing. It's almost, what is this? You have someone coming towards you that has feelings for you. They're pretty loyal and they want to work on this, but there's something about them. Why are, why are you in this nine? Why do they put you in this nine of swords? Are you afraid of commitment? Ten of pentacles. Gemini. <laughs> Gemini. You got someone else coming in or someone else in your energy. It's They're showing up as the nine of pentacles. This is someone who's dedicated. This is someone who sees a job through. This is someone who wants to build a life with you that you two can be proud of. This is someone who has strong feelings for you. I'd go as far as saying they're falling in love with you with the queen of cups. They're generous, kind, compassion, kind of feminine, right? This person does have feminine traits with the Queen of Cups, whether they're male or female. Um, <laughs> you're telling me you're having a hard time committing to this person. So you're, you know, so they're either in your life now or you know about them because you're afraid of commitment. That's what's being reflected back to you, Gemini. Why are you going after the players? Why do you get so hung up on the players, Gemini? We got or, as far as elements, you could be dealing with any sign. We got Taurus here, Libra, Aquarius, more Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Cancer, Leo. Could be any sign. Now we're going to pull some cards for whatever comes out. We did it backwards today. For my sanity. I might start doing it backwards from now on. I don't know. I don't know. Let's pull you an angel number, Gemini. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Let's see. Give me an angel number for Gemini, please. That one just shot right out. 666. It says, I am centered. A wake-up call for you to re-examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts so you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency. You Geminis are being tested. Mm-hmm. I think the universe is going to hand you someone and see how you treat that person. I think the universe is going to hand you someone's heart if they ha if it hasn't already. I'm going to be real with you, Gemini. The universe is about to hand you someone that is loyal, dedicated, and for you. And how you handle this person's heart is a test. 
Now, I'm not saying be with people you don't want to be with, all right? I am saying that the universe is wanting you to reevaluate some things that are going on in your mind. Some actions you may be taking, reevaluate it. Because at the end of the day, loyalty is everything. I think there is a really loyal person coming towards you. Some sort of wake up calls happening here. Take it how it resonates. We could spend our whole lives chasing players. And that's fine and dandy if that's what you want for your life. However, you do have someone very kind and loving and caring that wants to support you and be there for you, Gemini. And then you're going to have a past similar situation show back up. The universe is going to say, hey, do you really want what you asked for? You're going to be tested. What else for Gemini? What else for Gemini? What's coming toward you, Gemini? What's coming toward you? Everything you wanted. Nine of Cups. Four of Cups in reverse. Luna just knocked one of my crystals down. Luna, baby. Honey. Okay. Just don't eat it. You don't see this coming, I don't think. You're about to get everything you've asked for. And then the universe is going to send a test to see if you mess it up. Hmm. I see communication coming in from a water sign, particularly. Could be an air sign as well. Let's see. Give me two more cards, please. I just saw the, the Wheel of Fortune. You guys are about to be tested, so... Three of Pentacles, Five of Cups. And then we have the Hanged Man in Reverse. Pisces Energy. I see a, a, a wish fulfillment, a wish come true coming towards you, Gemini. I also see people wanting to work with you with the Three of Pentacles. People wanting to talk to you. Five of Cups. Three. You're so disappointed in people, Gemini, it feels like you may not want to associate with them, though. What is this trying to say? There may be co-workers or people around you that are wanting to speak with you. But this Five of Cups energy, you don't want to really... It, it, it feels like you're already contemplating what could go wrong or people like you're like oh you're just going to disappoint me anyway what's the point yeah nine of swords hmm you don't want to deal with others four of cups in reverse you may not be admitting your part on this okay it doesn't seem like you want to give anyone the time of day Look at this. Three of Cups in reverse. I, I feel like this could be on a friend, on a friendship level, or your coworkers. So I just feel like you guys are going to enter a period of solitude or just wanting to be left alone. What is this trying to say? Knight of Pentacles. Page of Wands in reverse. You don't believe people. You don't trust people. Yeah, the Hermit. So, you know, <laughs> Gemini, I'm just feeling like you're not wanting to leave the house. You're not wanting to deal with others. You don't trust other people. A lot of you Geminis feel like you've been too loyal to situations. And so I just see you wanting to pull back your energy. I guess that's just pointing it out to validate it. I mean, if you want to do that, do that. Anything else for Gemini? Some of you guys just may want to go into a period of solitude to reflect and heal. 
Okay, maybe that's why you're doing this. But you're just 666 also talks about taking a step back. It's almost like you're taking a giant step back from sharing your energy with everyone. Ten of Swords. You feel the High Priestess. Ooh, the Nine of Wands. For some of you guys, you are picking up on some dirty energy from other people. And that could be why. Listen to your intuition with the High Priestess. Some of you guys know other people are up to something. Okay, especially with this Page of Wands in reverse. There could be people that put on like friendly faces. Maybe they want you to drop your guard, get to know you. High Priestess, Knight of Wands. You've seen it before. Ten of Swords. You've seen it before. So, yeah, trust your intuition on that. I hate, I don't want to make anyone paranoid, but it's almost like, yeah, if you believe people aren't trustworthy, don't tell them things. Some of you guys, you may have made the mistake and said something to other people that have shared or gossiped about your personal business. Or this is just like a reoccurring issue. Right? And so you might be taking it, maybe, maybe you guys let your guard down for like a minute. That's what it feels like, because the Ace of Swords is here. Maybe in March, you guys kind of sort of was letting your guard down a little bit and then immediately, no. Immediately your intuition was like telling you that there was people, you know, the best advice I've ever heard is don't ever tell anyone anything about you that you're not comfortable with at least three, four, five other people knowing about. Not everybody is this way. But I do feel like your secrets are going to be shared with others. Because others really don't have much to talk about. And so how other people tend to bond. How other people tend to connect with others. Is by breaking your trust. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Wands in reverse. Breaking your trust with them. You know this. It's telling me you know this. Okay. So just watch what you say to people. You don't want other people knowing about it. People are people. So funny because Gemini gets that reputation. And that's not my experience, but I'm sure it's other people's experience. As far as elements go, we have all the signs, but we specifically have Virgo and Pisces and Sagittarius. All right, guys, that's how the messages wanted to come. Oh, wait, we're going to do all signs their sign. I didn't do that part. I'm going to figure out how I want to do this in the future. Y'all would have came for me, boy. Y'all would have came for me. Let's see. Okay, Aries through Pisces. Let's see. I don't want to do that one. Let's see. Aries through Pisces. The energy feels weird today to me. It just feels weird. Oh gosh. Okay, Aries through Pisces. This is if you are dealing with this sign. Aries through Pisces, please. Pisces. If you're dealing with an Aries, King of Pentacles, Temperance, uh, y'all, the Aries is not really focused on you. I, I feel like the Aries is focused on their work, themselves, trying to balance their life out right now. Okay. If you're dealing with a Taurus, they're held back. Why? Queen of Cups. 
The Taurus feels overwhelmed. Those of you that are dealing with the Taurus, they feel overwhelmed. If you're dealing with a Gemini, they want to commit. They want you. They want a future. They see a future with you. If you're dealing with a Cancer, they're non-committal right now. They don't know what they want. They want to keep their options open. I feel like the Cancer does have feelings for you. Five of Wands, though, they're just more interested in the drama and excitement of life right now. If you're dealing with a Leo, they're a player. Waste of time right now. They don't know what they want. Fickle. If you're dealing with a Virgo, communication will come in from a Virgo. If you're dealing with a Libra, Four of Wands, some sort of reunion or coming together with a Libra. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they want you. They feel a lot of chemistry with you. They think you're the one. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, why the Queen of Swords? Sagittarius is holding a grudge. They think that you act emotionally aloof, emotionally unavailable. They're, they're kind of bitter towards you right now. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, a message coming in from a Capricorn, I'm getting a flirtatious state of flirtatious. <laughs> I'm getting a flirtatious statement or text message, some sort of uh, flirty behavior coming in from a Capricorn. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, the conflict continues. The Aquarius plays mind games. They're more so interested in playing mind games than anything else right now. If you're dealing with a Pisces, action being taken from a Pisces, they want a fresh start. The Pisces wants to heal this. They want to come back together or be with you in general. All right, everyone, those are your messages. Thank you guys so much for showing up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.